This is a product video for TechRap's matte metallic series, and here are the details. Product number ECH02, hybrid polymeric calendar film, liner, craft white, roll lengths 20 meters, roll width 152 centimeters or 60 inches, comes in 21 colors, thickness 150 micron or 6 mil, adhesive type solvent, uses OEM paint. Roll information, including the swatch color and the lot number, can be found on the outside of the box. The lot number can also be found in the core tube. Inside the roll is a TechRap sticker, and each roll comes protected in two bags, plastic and fabric. TechRap's matte metallic finish is not metallic flakes with a matte lamination layer, but it covers 100% of the surface. The film is not directional, so there is no need to use the logo on the liner during the install, but it can be used during production to cut the panel straight using the 4-inch grid pattern. The adhesive is solvent-based and has an air egress feature. The initial tack is medium to high, so it's best to anchor the film with a permanent squeegee stroke than squeegee. If dirt or wrinkles occur, immediately pick the panel back up and fix. For dirt, wet a towel and gently wipe the dirt away. Air dry or use a heat gun to speed this up, and then simply reapply the film. No need to replace the entire panel. Always avoid overstretching TechRap's matte metallic film, as even going past a 5% stretch can change the hue of the film. This can lower the quality of the final result and maybe lead to reinstalls, so pay extra attention to this during the install in order to get happy clients. Also, never use propane torches to warm the film as this will gloss the matte finish. And here are the production details. No printing or need to laminate. And here's the warranty. Zone 1, 4 years. Zone 2, 3 years. Zone 3, 2 years. And keep in mind you have the option to buy a minimum of 3 meters instead of a 20 meter roll. The first step of prep is to remove the hardware on the vehicle. Focus on the front and back lights, license plates, gas tank covers, antennas, emblems, side panels, and door handles. With the hardware removed, it's important to then clean the application surface. First general clean, then a degrease, with extra focus on the edges and recessed areas. For each section being wrapped, lower the outside surface energy with masking tape. This will help with workflow. Base temperature, 17 to 25 Celsius. Standard cleaning is involved. Conformability flat to moderate curves. Here are the tools needed in order to get a professional result. And the surface energy of matte metallic film is low. For each section of the vehicle, always trim the excess film off with the backing paper on in order to use for smaller sections like door handles and inlays. Make a zipper cut hinge on the liner and then go over the body panel one more time with a tack cloth to remove any specks of dirt. Place the panel carefully on the section being applied and anchor it in place with a magnet on the outside of the section being wrapped. If any marks occur from the magnet, it will be on the excess film. Anchor the panel in place with a squeegee stroke, then wet the squeegee with a soap and water solution. This will help avoid scratches on the face of the film. Release the liner, roughly 20 centimeters, then fold it back and swing the panel over the surface being applied. Once the panel is over the surface, Hold it away at a 10 degree angle and then work in overlapping squeegee strokes from side to side. When to recessed areas, always feed them in when possible. This will help avoid overstretching. Once the backing paper is fully released, use the triangle technique to work the film flat in a steady manner. This will help neutralize the aggressiveness of the adhesive. For corners, use the cold pre-stretch technique in order to avoid wrinkles and get a paint-like finish. Once the film is relaxed with heat, Make minor cuts on the bottom side of the corner, then cut towards the corner from the outside in. Apply heat again to relax, then squeegee away from the corners to shift the film flat. Using the hard part of the squeegee helps dramatically during this process. For cutting, on flat edges with no tension, angle the blade away from the edge, then seal the deal with a finger or squeegee stroke. For edges with tension, relax the film, then pull the film flat. Once the film is flat on the section, then squeegee. Once in place, heat the film again to relax the edges, open the panel if possible, angle the blade away from the edge, then release the excess film. Working from side to side creates high efficiency and quality. Do a 360 degree check over on the edges for bubbles and loose edges, remove the masking tape and any props, and now the panel is complete and the next one can be installed. For compound curves, it's best, if working solo, to use an installer pull to even out the tension from side to side. Start on the tightest part of the compound curve and work away from this area. It's best to use an IR heater here as it will warm all layers of the TechRap's matte metallic film. Pull along the body line to even the tension out from top to bottom. Use more heat to relax the film before getting to the edges. 
This will, in some cases, shrink the film back to its original shape and tension, which is the basis for cold pre-stretch technique. Once the edges are set, cut away the excess film with a knife and or knifeless tape. If wrapping in multiple pieces, clean the edge with alcohol as this will raise the surface energy, which will help the overlay adhere for the long term. Always try to apply the piece with the least stretch last as this will hold the stretch of the first panel. For tight edges, be sure to use the micro squeegee to seal all edges. Like other sections, do a 360 degree check over with a heat gun to look for bubbles and or loose edges. Even if the entire car was cleaned at the beginning of the job, it's always a good idea to go back over the edges one more time with a degreaser as well as lower the outside surface energy with masking tape. This can include tire covers. For trickier large panels, it's best to work with two installers. With two installers, they can release the entire liner and once the panel is set, it's very important to look for steep wrinkles. These type of wrinkles can lead to overstretching if left on. So before squeegeeing, simply pick the panel back up, then place it back on the section. The goal is to even out the tension. Once the panel is set on the body line, then use the triangle technique to spread the film out towards the corners. Use light heat if needed, then pull as gently and wide as possible. This will maintain the hue of the matte metallic finish. For raised objects, like this front headlight, it's best to make a relief cut in order to relax the material onto the application surface. A standard relief cut on this matte metallic film can make the cut run into the main application surface, so it's best to make a hole, then cut from the other side of the circle. This will prevent tearing. Once the relief cut is made, simply spread the material out onto each corner and lay the film flat. Once the film is set, then seal the film onto the surface by squeegeeing from side to side. The air egress features will prevent any bubbles. For difficult sections like the top of the fender, make more relief cuts and for minor recessed areas, use the palm technique and apply the deepest part of the recessed area first. This will avoid adhesive lines and overstretching. Before cutting, relax all the edges with a heat gun. Then, once the edges are set, cut on the opposite side when possible, in this case on the front door. This will create an extra centimeter of film that can be wrapped around the edge for long-term hold. For tight edges, like at the front between the bumper and the front fender, use the tuck and cut approach. This will get full coverage and reduces the tension on the edge, which helps ensure long-term hold. Once everything is cut out, remove any remasking tape and do a 360 degree check over for heat to look for loose edges and bubbles. For post-install, cure time 24 hours above 10 Celsius. Always use pH neutral aftercare products. Avoid using wax or solvents. Post heat temperature, 110 Celsius. Overlaps, 125 Celsius. Once the hardware has been reinstalled, always wipe the vehicle down with proper aftercare products to remove any handprints from the installation. Avoid using alcohol as this will dry the film out, causing the matte metallic finish to dull. For post heating, focus on all curves, recessed areas, and edges. Post heat temperature is 110 Celsius or 220 degrees Fahrenheit. For removals, here are the heaters that are recommended should leave only 5 to 10% adhesive residue behind if removed within the warranty period. Removals are best done within the warranty period as this will leave less than 10% adhesive residue behind and the panels will come off in whole sheets. Using propane, heat guns, IR heaters, or steamers is approved. For more information on this matte metallic film from TechRep, you can go to this URL or these social media pages. This has been a product video for TechRep's matte metallic series. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.